Okay, while my machine is attempting to render the previous videos I've already recorded, I want to kind of show you a, a little bonus, uh, something that's kind of fun and definitely fun to show t in front of a live audience because it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, it does illustrate how you actually do some native API capability or a native API functionality on a phone. Um, so if I go back to Hybrid 3001 here, let me run on Cordova Sim again so we can see what that guy looks like. And uh, it had a few pages in it. And, and you know, you, so you had uh, enterprise contacts, you had the device contacts. Yeah, so that all looks like it's still working now. Should still be working. We haven't done much uh, with it yet. But let's go over here to the www folder, open up the index.html. Okay, let's add another page. So I can add another page to the menu by just coming in here and, and just putting in page four. And we're going to call this fun stuff. All right, we're going to just have some fun with Cordova plugins. And I'm going to. Uh, I can use the outline view to navigate across my pages. Like I can see there's page three there, or I can use the visual source view uh, to navigate, you know, so I can kind of see that there's the there's that third page again. So just different ways to find my way around the sources. But all I'm really trying to do is to get down here and add a yet one more page. So if we get down here and add a new page, and I'm using jQuery for this application, I'm gonna add page four, uh, call it fun stuff. Uh, fun stuff. Okay, uh, so I want to come in and add the menu button just so we have our menu button and right here in the header again. Okay, uh, so there's there's um, fun stuff and you can see it has the menu option for fun stuff there. Okay, so there's our page content. Page content goes here. Uh, so now we need to add a couple components. These are just basically div tags and I'm going to just copy and paste them in uh, so I can avoid typing mistakes. Uh, but you can see we just have a paragraph and we have the accelerometer um, and all right so accelerometer x y and z i notice they have ids right there uh, so now we need to wire in the accelerometer uh, programming logic so if we go to index.js i'm going to have two callback functions like we did with the device contacts so my callback functions i'm just going to paste right here okay right above device ready uh, you can see they're fairly straightforward. They're going to grab those uh, those div tags right there, and it's basically going to replace it with the actual uh, x, y, and z coming out of the accelerometer. So next thing I do is add the accelerometer watcher. I'm going to come into device ready now. Again, device ready is called when the uh, Cordova application boots up, right? So I'm going to make sure that's on boot. So I got that guy in there now. And if, uh, you can see right here, it didn't, nothing has changed yet. And we actually have an undefined object, again, because we need to install the plugin. So let's go out here to right click, install Cordova plugin. OK. Uh, again, it's going to look up there at the public registry where all the Cordova plugins are. Uh, the one I want is called Device Motion for the accelerometer here. Uh, so let's hit Finish. And um, you notice that particular error went away. And so now we got to, if you notice, we have zeros now. So those weren't there before. So watch what happens. If I come to the accelerometer thing over here in Ripple and Cordova Sim, I can play with the accelerometer. So that's pretty awesome. So I can keep going with this. If I want to have a little bit more fun with it, I can even add things like um, uh, battery level functionality or, you know, monitoring the battery level. So if I come into, uh, add, let's add another section here, and I'll just copy and paste that again. Again, just so I get the names of the divs right. Pretty much if you've been living in this land, div is your friend. Everything's a div. Um, but I have a little HR there, battery level, and plugged in. Okay. So I, all right, so that's where those guys are showing up there. And now I need to add a little bit of code um, to deal with the battery status. Again, I'll have a callback function. And uh, uh, yeah, the battery, I have a callback function right there. Okay, the battery status. And so, uh, see the info here, info.level, and info is plugged. So what is our current battery percentage, and is it plugged in or not? Um, and that might seem like a trivial example, but you know, you might actually want to make a judgment call, logic call, based on is the battery uh, full or not. So if I did that right, oh, and um, I also need to add the plugin, install Cordova plugin. And let's look at this, the plugins one more time. Again, org.apache.cordova, your friends. And battery status is, starts with a B, is at the very top there. That's awesome. And get that guy in there. And now, if I come over here to battery status, um, I can kind of change that. Plugged in, not plugged in. All right, so that looks like it's working for me. 
Again, now your, your logic can make decisions based on is it plugged in or not, what the battery level is. You might decide if you're doing a synchronization to a server, um, battery, battery level 13%, that's too low. Tell the user to plug it in. You can also interact with geolocation, uh, device uh, network settings. So if I want to come here and say network none, you can actually respond to that. There's no network connection. I cannot can I communicate with the server. Or better yet, uh, I do have a network connection, but it's only like a 2G network connection. So the performance will be too poor, and you might you know have a different piece of logic that you uh, work with there. So um, well, let's see let's see how that works out. So let's go ahead and kick this back out now. Run as run on Android device. Um, let do the Android build process and push it out to the actual Android device. This may take a little bit longer since, like I said, I'm doing a, a video render in the background from the previous videos I recorded in this series. So I can imagine my CPU is very much taxed at the moment. Um, but you can see it going through its texting process. Uh, just kind of while that's going on, I'll let you look over here at Cordova Sim. This is based on an open source Ripple project, uh, but there's a lot of capability here to allow you to do basic testing of the application um, right here inside Ripple. Uh, and we're inside Cordova Sim. And again, there are certain things that you can't test on the on the uh, Cordova simulator. You really need to test on the phone, and most importantly, you really need to test on the device itself, no matter what, right? So, uh, like in this case, I said, run on Android device. It's going through the build the Android Android project, going through that build process, and you can see it's taking a little bit of time here. But my CPU is probably 120% utilized at this moment. It looks like it's trying to get all get pushed over there. Where's my little camera? Wake this thing up. You can see there's my previous push notification demo still running. Actually, just hit home and close that down. Uh, so there's the home screen for us on this Nexus 7, and um, the uh, application should be loading. Let me double check it didn't. But it didn't load already, and I just happened to hit it closed at that right moment. Uh, oh, there it is, fun stuff. Okay, so there, there's the accelerometer going crazy. And you can see it says 95% plugged in true. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's unplug the USB cable. Uh, boom, false. All right, so that's responding nicely on this Nexus. And um, let me plug it back in again. All right, and true. All right, so fantastic. So that native API integration works perfectly inside this environment. Uh, using Cordova and taking advantage of our testing environment like we saw here with Cordova Sim. Okay, well that's all for now. We're gonna uh, we'll probably do a few more.